to the video lecturing series of data mining and warehousing. In this video lecture series, we already discussed about the sixth module of our data mining and warehousing. Today, in this video lecture, we will discuss about graph mining. This graph mining comes under the section advanced data mining techniques uh, in that you have to study graph mining and frequent sub a frequent subgraph pattern mining and all. So, we will move We'll move on to the main contents in this. So, you have to study the graph mining concepts, what are the application of graph mining and the methods for finding the frequent subgraph. For that we are using, uh, for finding the frequent subgraph we are using the a priori based approach. So, all this are the main contents of this video. I will move on to the graph mining. Graph mining is say data mining technique in that we are finding a substructure or a subgraph from the main graph. So, we are mining the subgraph from the main already existing graph that is known as a graph mining and the graph mining is a, consists of a set of tools and technique used to analyze the properties of real world graph and to predict how the structure and the properties of a given graph might affect some application and to develop the models that can generate realistic graph that match the pattern found in the real world graph of interest. So, here what we will do is like if you are given with a some particular graph, if you want to search particular subgraph, if you want to find the subgraph or if you want to search whether that particular subgraph is present in that graph or not, we will do the graph mining techniques. Now we will see the main application areas of graph mining. Here the graph mining concept is mainly used in some areas like chemical informatics, bioinformatics, computer vision and video indexing and in text re retrieval, web analysis, social network. In all these areas we are using the concept of graph mining. Now I will tell you one example comes under chemical informatics. We are given with a chemical compound, if it is a complex compound and you want to search whether the, whether a particular small compound is a part of that complex compound, what you will do is like you will find the structure of that complex compound and you will search whether the sub, sub compound is present, whether the substructure is present in that or not. If you are given with a very complex compound, some structure, some particular structure will be present in that. So, we will search for that particular substructure and we will find whether it is present or not. So, similarly in bioinformatics also whether a protein is present or not, whether that test, whether if a test is positive and all that indicate that particular compound is present in that. So, in order to understand whether that particular compound or whether a particular sub compound is present or not we will use this graph mining techniques. The mining frequent subgraph pattern uh, that we are using to find this subgraph now we will see uh, what are the how we will mine the frequent subgraph. So, if a graph G is given, a graph G is defined as it consists of a set of vertices V and the set of edge G, it is represented as V of G and E of G. This consists of the set of all vertices and the set of all edges and a label function that map the vertex or edge to a label and we are telling a graph G is a subgraph of another graph G dash. G dash if there exists a graph isomorphism from G to G dash. If there exists a graph isomorphism we will call it as a subgraph. Now uh, the term like support or frequency of G means number of graphs in D is known as a support or frequency. Now you can see an example here. In this example this is graph G1, G2 and G3. In this graph I am searching I, I want to find whether this particular compound SCC SCCC double O N this particular chemical composition is present in the graph or not. What I will do? I will search in the particular given graph. So, you can see this this particular uh, subgraph SCC N O this is present in this graph. Now, what about this S? SCCN 
in this also it is present now what about this scc and no this is not this particular structure is not present in this graph so we can tell the frequency of this particular subgraph is 2 now what about the se se second one it is given ccn this is our subgraph we will search in the first graph ccn is present ccn is present and ccn is present in all these three graph this particular subgraph is present so i'll tell the frequency of this particular subgraph is 3 this is the way of finding the uh, frequent subgraph from a given graph now for the methods for finding frequent subgraph that we are studying here is a priori based approach a priori based approach we already studied in our fifth module and how it will work it will generate a candidate item set and will find the support and will search for the item set which is satisfying the minimum support count so like that we will do the here also here also we will do the same a priori based algorithm for frequent substructure mining include agm and fsg and a path join method this three method that we are using in a priori based algorithm here agm shares similar characteristics that a priori based item set a priori based item set mining fsg and path join method explore edges and connection in a priori based fashion so we will see each one in detail the first we will see a priori based how the a priori based approach will work so we already discussed how the a priori based algorithm will work we are given with a support count and we will search for the item set which satisfy the minimum support count and we will join and prune so, so that is the procedure for doing the uh, a priori based approach so here we will start with here we will start with a graph of small size and generate candidate with extra edge or vertex so a priori algorithm will start with a level wise mining method and from the bottom and it will follow a bottom up pattern so we will start with a small substructure and we will find the sub component or sub structure and we will propagate that size of new substructure is so each time we are finding a new edge or new vertex we will increase the size of new sub structure by one so this is the method that we are using here so here you can see uh, a priori algorithm d is a given graph set and we are given with a minimum support threshold and the output is the sk that is the frequent substructure set so here in each step what is happening is like here we are given with a graph here sk is the frequent substructure uh, set of size k a priori graph adopts a level wise mining methodology at each iteration the size of newly discovered frequent substructures are increased by one the new substructure are first generated by joining two similar but slightly different subgraph that are discovered in our previous call to a priori algorithm the frequency of the newly formed graph are then checked those found to be frequent are used to generate larger candidate in the next round so this is the method that we are following in this algorithm so first we are given with uh, an algorithm uh, like a graph gi and gj g of g g subscript i and g of subscript j and these two graphs are subset of sk and each time we will search for size k plus 1 graph and merge gi and gj likewise uh, that we already discussed like if we want to get a new substructure that what we will do is like we will join two similar but slightly different subgraph that we are doing here in the uh, fourth step if the graph if the newly formed graph g in d is frequent then that we will be inserted into the frequent item set so that is the procedure in a priori based approach now in a priori two uh, approaches that we are using one is agm and one another is fsg 
and a path join method now we will discuss about agm agm is a priori based graph mining agm represent a priori this a stands for the a priori then graph mining this a priori based graph mining works on vertex based candidate generation that means each time the increase substructure size by one one vertex at each step so we are considering for candidate generation we are considering the vertex here so two frequent k size graphs are joined only if they have k minus 1 subgraph now consider this example in this example you can see two subgraph which is having k minus 1 sub k minus 1 subgraph that means uh, this this items this these core items represent which is having same number of vertex right and it is having one extra vertex so this is the extra vertex here this is the extra vertex here so what we will do is like we will join to form a new substructure so first we are forming like this this is our already existing graph and the structure is added like this our another way is like this is already existing and we are adding like this so these two substructures are formed by considering the vertex based candidate generation so while doing the vertex based candidate generation what we have to do is like we are given with two frequent subgraph which is are almost similar but slightly different in one or one vertex so are joined joined only if they have same k minus 1 subgraph then only we will merge these two that is why we are getting like this so that is the method for agm so here agm is based on vertex based candidate generation now we will see the next one that is fsg that is frequent subgraph mining so while co considering the agm there we are considering the vertex but in fsg we are considering the edge based so we are considering the edge here for candidate generation increases one edge at a time for each iteration so what it will do consider this example g1 and g2 are two subgraph in that two size two size k patterns are merged if they share the same subgraph having k minus 1 edges so here you can see this two graphs having a core and one extra edge right this two graph having one core one core is this and one extra edge extra edge is b in case of g1 and c in case of g2 so how we will do the joining either you can do the join like this b is added here and c is added here or another way is like b added here c added here or b c in the lower most portion so in all this ways you can do the new substructure or new subgraph forming by joining two slightly different subgraph so that's all about the fsg method so while comparing agm and fsg one is considering the edge and another is considering the vertex for forming the uh, new candidate set and in one case we are having similar subgraph having k minus 1 edge but in the case of fsg we are having k minus 1 subgraph uh, having same same number of word, vertices next is uh, edge disjoint path method in that classify a graph by number of disjoint path they have two path of an uh, two paths are edge disjoint if they do not share any common edge in a graph uh, if they are not sharing any common edge we will call that as Uh, edge disjoint so here in edge disjoint path method a substructure pattern with k plus 1 disjoint path is generated by joining substructure with k disjoint path so these are the frequent pattern mining techniques in case of subgraph we are using an a priori based approach in that you have to study what is agm then fsg then path join method in path join method you will consider the uh, edge disjoint 
next is uh, the advantages of a priori disadvantages of a priori approach the overhead when joining two substructure is one disadvantage another is it is using a level wise candidate generation instead of a depth wise search bf strategy to check whether k plus 1 graph is frequent it must check all the all of its size k subgraph we have to search the n layer one then only we will be able to find the um, k plus 1 frequent subgraph and it consume more memory so these are the disadvantages of a priori approach so that is all about the graph mining and frequent subgraph mining techniques thank you